Hi, I'm Madeline, and here is the full tutorial of how I photoshopped the minion balloon floating away from the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. If you want the full explanation of the minion story, I made that video. It's on my channel. Like this video and make sure you're subscribed to my channel to see more. We are in Adobe Photoshop beta. I use the beta version because I like to test out new features, but if you want the generative AI, just make sure your Photoshop software is up to date. Starting with this picture of the Paw Patrol float, I'm grabbing my lasso and outlining everything I want removed from this photo so that I have a blank building background to put my minion on. Once you've made your selection, the generative fill toolbar pops up and you can type in remove or you can leave it blank and click generate and it will automatically remove what you've selected from your image. After processing, we get three options to pick from and I want to make sure I'm picking the one that looks the most realistic. So then I will head over to another photo I have of the minion balloon and I'm using my magnetic lasso to select the minion, copy it, drop it into this project. Now that I have the minion size where I want him, I realize the banana guy doesn't have his legs. So I have this other minion photo that I'm gonna copy the bottom half of the banana guy, paste him onto the image that I would like him to have legs on, and then lasso out that background and delete it. I really didn't even zoom in or look that hard. <laughs> so y'all got tricked off of a pretty, you know, shoddy workmanship. Here I'm time-lapsing me removing all these leaves so then the perspective is right because the minion wasn't flying under the trees I was filming from. And I went and made outlines of what I think would be loose strings. So it looks like people let go of the minion float. And when you zoom in, it did a relatively good job, better than I expected, of making the strings appear loose. There were a bunch missing from the back of this cutout, so I just took a paintbrush and the color white and added those in. And I might have adjusted the opacity a little bit. Um, then I went ahead and tried to make the crowd look like it was pointing at the minion. <laughs> So there are some hands being thrown out there, but generative AI is notoriously terrible at creating human body parts and hands. So some look okay. Um, I took some pieces from some and copied them onto the others because they were lacking a fist or a finger. And because it is 2023 and I would not be the only person getting this on camera, I added a girl with her smartphone and tried to make her look surprised or screaming or something, but it wasn't really working, so left it as the back of her head. Then I roughly grabbed what, you know, might be her perspective of the photograph and used free to store threw it onto her screen, edited opacity a little bit. Here I'd accidentally left a piece of the leaf thing on his back, but basically I just wanted to rotate the minion more because I realized I never moved him from his original location. So then he's flying away. That's minion one. Minion two, I pasted another balloon picture onto here and adjusted the lightness and saturation to make him fit into the scene more. And here I am trying to draw more of those loose strings. I generated some as well, which actually worked better than I thought. So you can see some more strings on him. I don't know if anybody even noticed, but I was drawing strings onto minion balloons all day. And just going in and touching up and perfecting those, erasing them where need be. And time to do some crowd work. So first I tried to do like a screaming crowd running after the minion. I know screaming isn't quite the expression that we like want from the crowd, but generative AI doesn't quite understand, like, crowd fearing balloon is getting away. So screaming is what I went with. And just adding in more hands, pointing. Um, I changed the color and opacity on this girl's arm and hands. I think I tweaked it even a little more in the end because it just was way too bright. And I still don't think it turned out that great but trying to get more people like looking up, it was pretty difficult. 
I got some kid screaming right here, which is pretty awesome, and deleted some of the weird stuff that the AI generated for me around his face, or her face, can't even tell. And I tried to do the same thing on the other person, um, but it just was not working for me. Occasionally, I will duplicate something that did work for me and then try to regenerate something off of that. And see, here it gave me a similar result, like a kid screaming, but I didn't like it, so I just stopped trying to figure that out with the crowd. And this is what the final result looked like. I also added a drop shadow to the minion, which I forgot to include, but important to know. For our final minion picture, I'm using Generative Expand, so then I could show him floating above the Dakota. That is what this building is called. It's a very, very old building in New York. Um, this gave me a few options, and I wasn't sure what the building behind the Dakota looked like. So I went, looked up the Dakota, and it turns out this building behind the Dakota does look like what the AI generated. So that was interesting. I deleted this thing that was in front of it and then just had to go make sure the top of the Dakota was similar enough to what it looks like in real life. I didn't think people would be that detailed, but just like wanted to make sure I wasn't too far off. It generated an extra little thing in the middle, which I had to go delete. Then I had this tree here and I knew that would be too difficult to delete, so I went ahead and just added more leaves so it looked like there was a tree in my way, which there was. So <laughs> added in another minion balloon. I think I took this picture as well and adjusted the hue, saturation, lightness to see if I could make it match the background a little better. And it was really difficult to tell because I don't see floats like this every day. Or I guess balloons, sorry. Somebody in the comments roasted me saying, those are balloons, not parade floats. Parade floats are on wheels, which makes sense. But like, you can relax. You know what I meant. I just missed uh, me drawing more strings, but you get the picture. I used a paintbrush. I used white drew a bunch of strings on there, and then lowered the opacity and erased anything that looked a little too crazy. And that was pretty much it on this one. I think I lowered the opacity of the balloon itself uh, because when things are that far in the distance, color will kind of reflect onto them. That's color theory for you, baby. And that is our last and final balloon edit from our Minion Balloon Photoshop tutorial, which I guess was more of just me talking over me photoshopping than a tutorial, but hope you learned something. Even if all you learned is that floats have wheels and balloons just happen to also be in parades, but balloons do the adjective floats while floats are the noun floats. Hey, thanks for staying until the end. Drop a comment with your Photoshop questions and your favorite minion edit. As a new channel, it would help me out a ton if you gave this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And follow me on all my socials to see more dumb stuff I do. Okay, bye.